In videos already, I've explained how when we're logged into a server, if we're using Tomcat or Jetty or some other kind of servlet container, uh, the servlet container creates a session and that session has an ID and that session ID is set in a cookie at the browser. However, there are other web frameworks and some of those other web frameworks ask you to implement the session management. Uh, and so one of the things that could be quite tempting to do is to decide, well, I'm not going to worry about setting a session ID because I don't want to keep any state in my session. So what I'll do is just if they're logged in, I'll just set the user ID in a cookie. And that way, whenever their browser visits my site, it will send down the cookie that's got their user ID in it and I'll know they're logged in as that user. Why is that a bad idea? Well, this video is to explain one of the reasons why that is a bad idea. What you can see on the screen is part of a security tab in my GitHub account. And uh, Gmail and various other uh, websites have this. And so what you can see here is a list of my logged in sessions. So here is my current session from this browser. So on this browser, I am logged in uh, with a session uh, that has some unique session ID. On another browser, maybe a, a day or so ago, I was logged in from another browser and that's also got a session and that's got a different session ID. But so for instance, if I had logged in from someone else's computer and I'd forgotten to log out, or if somehow someone else had managed to log in as me uh, because they'd got my password and I, I realized, oops, I need to change my password, but they were still logged in as me on their browser. Well, because these are different sessions, different session IDs, I've got this revoke button over here. And uh, the GitHub site has implemented this revoke button that lets me say that session ID, that is that session on a different browser, isn't me. Don't treat that as being logged in as me. Uh, now, the thing to realize is that this wouldn't work if the protocol just involved putting the user ID in the cookie because I can't change what is in the other browser on the other computer's cookie from here. Uh, I'm this session. I can only change things on GitHub server and in my browser. I can't change what cookies are set on this other machine that isn't me. Uh, so if it had a cookie with my user ID in it, it would still have a cookie with my user ID in it. And if the only way the server had of knowing if I was logged in was, do you have a cookie with the user ID in it? Well, it would have a cookie with the user ID in it and it would look like it was logged in as me. But instead, the way it's set up, this has a session and it's got a unique session ID and this has a session and it's got a unique session ID and I can tell GitHub that other session is not me anymore, revoke it, don't treat it as being logged in as me. And it's gone and I've just logged the other browser out from this machine. Uh, so if I forgot to log out when I was at the airport or something like that, then I can log in as me on my laptop and remotely log myself out from the other session. I couldn't do that uh, if the protocol just involved setting my user ID in the cookie instead of setting a unique session ID in the cookie.